Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. And for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience. And uh, through this channel, I'm providing some stock analysis and also a short trading lesson at the end. So please stay tuned. In the previous video, we looked at tick symbol MMAT and an update on Netlist. So please refer back to the previous video. Uh, today's video is going to be also on an update for tick symbol MMAT and also an update for tick symbol ATOS, at also Therapeutics. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, some updates for ticker symbol MMAT. First thing I'd like to bring you is uh, a concern that I have uh, with regard to classification of MMAT. So if you have a look on the screen here, we can see here this is a, a screen grab from a screener on Finviz. This is dated Sunday the 1st of August. And as we can see here, Meta Materials is still characterised in terms of an industry incorrectly. On this screen, it say, it's stating that it is electrical components. We know that Meta Materials is not electrical component. So I think what that basically means, we need another tweet from George. So George, please, if somebody can pass this message on to you, please send out another tweet. We have another issue with uh, classification and uh, whether or not this has uh, having an effect in terms of the price, we do not know. But we, what we do ask for as shareholders and investors in MMAT is accuracy and the truth. Okay, I am aware many shareholders and investors are very, very concerned in terms of meta materials. There has been uh, significant downward pressure on the price. This has taken almost everybody by surprise, including George himself. We have found lots of issues. There was the issue with the classification. There was the issue with uh, shorts. And um, what I would like to do is, first of all, uh, provide some bullish reminders in terms of the potential for the future. Uh, I think I certainly think uh, Meta Materials is one of those stocks that you hold on for dear life. So uh, just a reminder here of an old article that I've just dug out. Uh, this is from uh, May the 20th, 2021 from Global Industry uh, an Analyst. So the headline here, just like to share with you, is Global Aerospace Nanotechnology Market to Reach US $8 billion by 2027. Uh, so this is from a report carried out by the Global Industry analysts and what we can see here there are only 14 companies across the world uh, looking into this uh, technology and we can see here on the screen one of those companies is Meta Materials. The next thing I'd like to do is provide a bullish update with regards to Samsung and Meta Materials. We know that Samsung's have had uh, significant problems with their Samsung Fold. Uh, the technology has not been great however on this article what we can see here uh, one of the promising materials which is Meta Materials is something that could certainly rectify this situation. So going forward in the future, uh, great prospects for the deal with Samsung. Before we start the next stock update, I'd like to give a special thanks to everybody who's joined the Million Dollar Challenge. I've been um, more than pleased with the response so far. It has been beyond my expectations. So I will be providing an update on this towards the end. Anybody who's interested in finding out more about the Million Dollar Challenge, please click in the description below. Let's now move on to look at Atosa Therapeutics. So on Friday, there was a very significant dip in the share price. Uh, one thing that I looked at in terms of why this happened, the key reason was not business related in terms of their trials, their outcomes and the potential for the future. So if we have a look at the news article on the screen here, we can see the headline is Atos stock dips sharply ahead of special meeting. So what basically happened, there was a special meeting uh, announced uh, where the shareholders are, are expected to approve a contentious amendment to the company's certificate of incorporation. Basically what it means is the company is looking to raise an additional 100 million uh, shares. Uh, this is obviously going to give the company a huge cash boost. A negative side for uh, shareholders is it did drive the, st the, the price down so that's not good from from our point of view it's good from the company's point of view it gives them more cash gives them more strength uh, in terms of growth and it does uh, give them a more positive uh, future for the long term okay so let's have a look at the letter that was sent to the shareholders from uh, telsa therapeutics on the screen here we can see that the shareholders have been invited invited to a special meeting uh, this meeting is going to be taking place virtually on september the 7th 2021 and uh, it's also going to be uh, looking to for an approval vote uh, in terms of an amendment in the certificate of incorporation to increase the number of shares uh, of the common stock by 100 million. 
What I would now like to do is focus on the positives from the business point of view and just uh, look at a reminder in terms of the potential for the company, why they at also just a few weeks ago run up to uh, close to $9 and uh, what was the reason for this. So in terms of the share price going down, it was nothing to do with their trials or their potential outcomes as has already been said. So let's just have a reminder now in terms of their programs. So if you look on the screen here, they have two COVID-19 programs. Uh, with drugs that are called ATH20 and also AT301. The first one was started in April 2020. Uh, the program, that one there, is called COVID-19 HOPE. Second one at the bottom, AT301, COVID-19 nasal spray. So again, that one is, is currently going through trials. And uh, in my opinion, any potential breakthrough in any of these trials, I think will give a significant boost to the stock it's just a case of um, when. So it's a case of, uh, for now, uh, my recommendation for, for Atos, I'm certainly holding my shares. I won't be selling any of my shares for now going forward. Uh, I do believe this uh, has got a huge potential to, to squeeze up again in the future and uh, certainly not will, be, will not be selling these uh, cheap. However, great opportunity for potential new investors to get into this uh, stock because uh, certainly it is on discount now. What I would now like to do is draw your attention to the second page. At the top, the headline here is reason for amendment. So what I'd like to just uh, summarize for you here and uh, is the reason why the, the company have said that they are taking this uh, step. So first of all, what they have said is currently they have just in excess of three and a half million shares of common stock available as of July the 22nd, 2021. So that is causing the business a problem in terms of uh, raising funds to support their operations and selling this uh, additional sh amount of sh common stock is going to give them uh, the ability to have more acquisitions, to improve their licensing um, arrangements at the moment, which are limited. They've not yet generated revenue. So as investors, we do all know that. And they, at the moment, they're continuing to finance their commercial operations, research and development activities through their existing cash balances uh, and also the financing activities. So including the potential sale of common stock, preferred stock, warrants. So this is the key reason for uh, the share price going down, the additional issue of shares, uh, nothing to do whatsoever with uh, business uh, FDA activities or uh, the um, uh, research that's going on into COVID or the potential of their um, trials. What I would now like to do is uh, finish off by looking at some positive sentiment from um, Reddit. There has been some negative sentiment as well, but I think we need to focus on the positive. The, the negative is just with regard to the additional issue of shares. Let's look at the business fundamentals. So uh, on the screen here, these are some of the more bullish um, feelings that we can look at. So Nick8736 has said, uh, this is at least a $35 to $50 stock after approval. Don't let the short term price movement fool you. Uh, they won't pass, the vote may not pass, uh, and it's just a case of they want to steal our shares on the cheap. So that's the opinion there. Second one is, yes, I think after some time, past the company will bloom. So again, the general feeling here is positive. Nick8736 has said, uh, got, gone on to say they have two manufacturers lined up and no company would uh, do that. So if they were not ready for the approval, uh, then in terms of the COVID, we know COVID is here for, for the long term, definitely. There is going to be treatments required. So as far as I'm concerned, we, you know, we can see here what uh, Nick has gone on to say. He says, we saw Saba run up well in excess of 100. So the key thing for now is to be patient and hold. I'd like to now um, give a quick update in terms of the million dollar challenge. This is going very, very well. Uh, at the moment, the latest updates are in terms of the Discord and the Patreon. I have released um, three exclusive videos. One video is covering strategy. I've uh, announced uh, two more strategies. So in the original video uh, that was released on YouTube that you can see in the description below, that just covered strategy one. And for the members, we have a strategy two, and we also have a strategy two A. So strategy two is for experienced investors and uh, has uh, obviously covered some additional things that we can um, look at in terms of maximizing our compound returns. Uh, in terms of uh, the spreadsheet, so that's been updated, that has been released. So uh, all the um, Discord members do now have access to the spreadsheet of stocks. So that's also available. 
I've done a complete full video in terms of strategy and explanation. Uh, so if anybody's interested in joining us on this journey, please uh, view the video below, ask any questions in the comments and um, sign up with, with us on uh, the Patreon link in the description below that you can join just for $9 and um, start with us on this uh, great journey. So I'm very, very pleased with the response so far. Interest has been beyond my expectations. Very, very pleased. It's, uh, the whole group is very, very positive. I've given everybody an individual trade sheet. We have agreements. We have detailed, frequently asked questions. And uh, the community there is um, all ready to work together. And uh, we have lots of specialists in different areas. Uh, the key thing we're going to look at is minimise risk, maximise knowledge, share our um, experience and understanding, technicals, work together as a team and uh, support each other. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.